Hey guys, so as, as I was editing this video, I realized I didn't do a proper intro. So today you'll see me make my Juneteenth bars, which includes sea moss, and it is a cold processed soap. So if you like the way the bars turned out, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Go ahead and like the video so YouTube knows that you like this kind of content. And I hope you guys um, enjoy watching. And yeah, if you want to pre-order or order these bars, they will be available June 19th. And the link to my website should be in the bio. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, it's Armani. So today I'm going to be prepping some sea moss. Or some soap and then the rest I'm going to put in a mason jar and consume in some smoothies so if I can get these gloves on um, I started my soap yesterday I did the live solution and measured out all my oils and butters but I forgot that I had to prep the sea moss as well so I'm going to do that today and just let um, my live solution and my oils and butters sit for another night so really you just need a bowl of sea moss. I ordered my sea moss off of Etsy. And you need some distilled water and saran wrap. Excuse my soap dishes in the background. And I made a batch of turmeric scrub. So just excuse that. Um, it's really quite simple. Really gonna do is rinse this off, rinse the sea moss off three times in cold water to get all the dirt and salt off. Because, like, as you can, well, I don't, it, if you can see that, it already has salt and stuff at the bottom of my bowl. Um, let me try a different angle. Hold on. I hope you can see a little better. there's salt in the bottom of the bowl. Okay, so let me go put some cool water on it. Okay, so my water is already dirty. I would <clears throat> really wish you could see better. Hmm. But all you're gonna do is rinse off the sea moss. You want to keep rinsing until your water is clear. You can tell this is at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I'm recording on my phone and not my camera, so I'm not able to zoom in how I want to because I have no space on my camera. that my water is dirty so I am going to pour this out and fill it up again with cool water okay this is my second rinse it normally takes about three to four times to clean it real good because like I said you want clear water if you don't know about sea moss please look it up it has 92 of the, I want to say 108 minerals. That's good for the body. It's good for your skin. It's good for weight loss and aiding weight loss. It's good for your digestive tract. It has a lot of benefits. I don't know if you can see, but my water is dirty once again. And as you start to rinse it, you'll start to see it loosen up. And the reason why I said you want to cover it, you want to cover it from anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. And you'll see that it'll get back to its state, how it was under the sea. And it'll like double in size. The texture be totally different like right now it's really like brittle but like once you um, come back the next day it'll be kind of like rubbery <laughs> um, and you want to blend it with distilled water 
until it gets to like an applesauce consistency. So, as you can see, my water is dirty again. So I'm gonna empty this out and reload it with some cool water. All right, so this is my third rinsing. Once you blend it up, you can add it to like a smoothie or you could just take like a spoonful a day. I can't remember if it's once or twice a day. Or some people like flavor it and eat it that way. Either or, it's really good for you. And granted, the water isn't getting as dirty. It still isn't clear. See how the consistency changed from when I first took it out the bag. Okay, so I have my sea moss here. Rinsed out about five times. Okay, so now you want to fill, you want to go like just above the sea moss with distilled water. I think people use purified water too, but I have distilled water on hand because I make soap, so. gonna go just above your sea moss and then you're gonna cover it with saran wrap for 12 to 24 hours and I'll bring you guys back so you can see mine and we will go from there all right guys so I'm back 24 hours later and as you can see the consistency has changed it is just like the seaweed out of the ocean and you see it has doubled it has doubled in size so what I'm going to do is just put my seaweed inside my blender I don't think I'll be able to fit all of this at one time because it's so much To, um, I'll come back after it's been there because it's going to be loud. Okay, so this is the consistency you want it, like applesauce. So here's a better angle, but yeah, you want to have applesauce texture. And I'm about to put in some mason jars and then leave some out for the soap I'm about to make. So. Okay, so I found that the easiest way to incorporate the color is take a little bit of the oils. And I do mean a little. And put it in your containers. And then add your mica powder to the oils. And then stir them. It's 
see my June 10th vibes, so they will be red, green, and black. Okay, so let's check the temp on the oils. It's 69. And the temp on the last solution is 71. So remember, you want it to be within 20 degrees of each other, but the closer the better. Okay, so I have a sifter because as the um, last solution gets cold, it forms little crystals. I'm not sure if you can see. So I'm just going to sift those out. So I'm not going to stick in too much because I am adding sea moss and it does tend to heat up the batter a certain way. So I'm just going to stick in a little so you can see the immersion of the last solution in the oils and butters. I'm tapping to get the air bubbles out and then we're going to stick them. <laughs> And the leftover batter in this bowl will be the activated charcoal. It just compensates for the black, right? So I don't want, like I said, I don't want to stick in too much because I will be adding um, sea moss into this soap. And um, so I'm going to put the sea moss and the fragrance oil at the same time and just stir it. And then give it a quick um, stick blend. Okay, so I'm adding a tablespoon of the sea moss. In the refrigerator, so it's a little jelly like now, but it was like an applesauce texture. It smells so good. It's scented in sugared papaya and hibiscus. I never had papaya <laughs> or hibiscus, but this smells anything like this. It smells so, it's like a sweet common scent. It just smells good. I always keep one of these for myself and my, my mom likes this scent too. So I know that's good for her. And I am gonna have to stick them because if you watch Activate charcoal and the uh, sea moss. So you want to go light to dark first when you stick blend so you don't mix the colors so much. And I don't want to stick blend too much, but like I said, I don't want to 
it's leaking up to the bed. As you can see, it's still pretty liquidy, but it can harden up really, really fast. I know. <laughs> This plant, it's, <laughs> it's staying um, pretty clean, actually. I like to actually get a nice, good drop swirl. And then you, to do a drop swirl, you just alternate your colors and just drop it in the mold. Thank you. 